As we continue celebrating Pride Month, we're looking at the film Monica, which had a groundbreaking debut at the Venice Film Festival. The movie focuses on a woman who goes back home to care for her ailing mother after years of estrangement, reuniting with her family after being alienated by them. Monica packs an emotional and heart-wrenching punch. Take a look. I'm just so happy that you're here. You ready? This is Monica. Hi. Hey. Joining me now is the lead actress of the film, Trace Lizette. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hi, thanks for having me. Look, it seems like the relationships are strained among almost everyone in this family in this movie after your character's arrival. Why is it so important for Monica to face her family in that particular moment? Well, I think it's just uh, her going back to explore whatever's left of, of their time together. Mm -hmm. Um, they've been away for so long, and she's just a fully formed, well-lived-in woman. And, uh, you know, her mom doesn't recognize her as she's dealing with brain cancer and whatnot. And so I think for Monica, it is just a burying of the hatchet in order to kind of honor whatever time is left with their families, especially as we have aging parents, right? And we know a little bit about Monica, but she still seems to be a bit of a mystery. I mean, not just to viewers, but to her family as well. So is that an intentional choice there? Yeah, I think that she's guarded. Yeah. I think anyone who lives this life, this trans life has been through a lot. I know I have. And, um, you know, she's also at the same time protecting herself. She is, uh, she's showing an extreme amount of care and empathy by even making that journey in the first place. And so I think at the same time, she has to hold on to some of those walls that she's built up to just, you know, survive over the years. And um, at the same time, it's the, the priority is not really her in this moment. It's, it's more about exploring these last days with her biological mom. Right, and a lot of people you know, don't experience firsthand how not accepting one's gender identity and sexuality can then affect familial bonds. So how do you work to portray the complexities of, of someone in that situation? Well, I think that every family is different and this family is still just trying to figure out where Monica stands with them, and Monica's doing the same thing. Um, I think that there's also this other kind of purpose that Monica finds um, towards the end of the film with her nephew, I won't spoil it, but um, the way in which we deal with gender identity and uh, sexuality and femininity and masculinity with our family members is something that is deeply tied to how we're all programmed to think. And I think that this film is provocative. It's meant to be provocative. Art should be provocative. It should make you think. It should, make, it should let you walk away with questions mm -hmm. um, and concerns and hopefully more empathy. Right, and spur conversations for sure. And you made history at the Venice Film Festival as the first transgender actor to lead a film that debuted there. What does that mean to you? And what does your impact mean to the future of the film industry? It meant a lot to me. I mean, it was also, it left me with a lot of question marks about what, what all that means, what that seal of approval means. Mm -hmm. um, and, and also, why did it take that long for one of us to get through and be able to lead a film at the oldest film festival in the world? Um, personally, it felt very validating, but also, scary because I still, you know, I still wonder what's next for me in my career and when will we be seen as equal, when will we get the same opportunities and I think that day is yet to come. And as you worry about what's next for your career, you have a lot of fans out there that are hoping to see more of you. What projects can we look forward to seeing you in? Well, right now we're, we're striking, so I don't have much I don't have much to report back on that front. But um, I'm keeping the hope alive, and uh, you know, hopefully we can find common ground and a deal that's fair for everybody. Absolutely, Trace Lizette, Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. We really appreciate your time. 
Thank you for having me. Of course, and her film Monica is out in limited theaters now and is available to watch on Apple TV+. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.